dude. Totally. It's been like five months. And I just feel like I need to talk to y'all. So, I'm going to tell y'all why I've been gone for so long. Um, I've been absent. I've been busy. I've been absent. And, I mean, it's like, I was already absent before, but I'm really, like, really absent this time. Like, no post. But, so, long story short, I have changed locations twice. And, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I was forced to take down... I wasn't forced. I chose to. I was told to take my video down explaining why, what I was going through. I was told to take it down, so I took it down. So I'm gonna tell y'all what happened in a in a short, uh, you know, to sum it up. So long story short, I got kicked out of my mom's house, and if y'all wanna know what happened, I'll don't don't i really don't ain't no secrets i don't really care to tell to tell y'all because i mean it happened to me like i don't care to tell y'all so um <clears throat> if y'all want to know what happened let me know but i got kicked out of my mom's house and then i don't care if i wanted to know this or not but i'm gonna tell y'all my si i had to live with my sister and my sister kicked me out because she wanted me to help her pay for whatever around the house i lived there for a month and she, I, you know, I didn't have a good paying job or whatever. And um, I didn't have a good paying job. And, you know, I couldn't afford to really do much. And, you know, I expressed that. I didn't say I was going to pay for anything. You know, I expressed that I can't pay for much. I can pay for what I can, you know, market minimum wage. You know, people don't want to hear that. But... Long story short, she kicked me out. It wasn't even a regular kick out though. It was a it was a dramatic call the police on you kick out. Like, so that happened to me. So I don't live with my mother, don't live with my sister. I'm not telling anybody where I live. But um Um This is just something that at first I was mad about. Actually, this is just something that I'm never mad. I'm never mad. Never, ever mad. I'm very nonchalant, and I also go with the flow of everything. I I care about things, but not to the point where I'm mad, upset, you know, stuff like that. I do get upset once in a while, you know, when I care really care about something. I get upset. So this is just me telling y'all that I don't know if y'all can hear me because I got my ear on everybody goes through things I don't know everybody's um, problems or issues or whatever whether it's with your family or um, friends you can't keep a friend or you're being betrayed or you know stuff like that it happens to everybody so, if something happens to you, and you feel like it's the end of the world, look, most likely it's happening because whatever, if it's your friend, and they betrayed you, they was never your friend. It was never your friend. I don't think anybody should feel like down and sad when stuff happens to them that, you know, sets them back. Because, you know what they say. Not about to sound all cliche, but you know, a minor setback for a major comeback. And it's all in your attitude. It's literally all in your attitude. So, if your sister kick you out, you ain't got no money, nowhere to go. You know, you don't got to forget. I mean, you don't got to forgive. You can forget, but you don't got to forgive. You know? I mean, what? You can forgive... But you don't have to forget. I said that all wrong. Don't let the minor things, very minor things, affect you 
from your goals and that's one thing I can say about myself I never lost focus ever never I never lost focus and I'm never gonna ever lose focus on my my goals or whatever because it's people who really don't want to see you succeed they don't want to see you like they don't like they hate it they hate it like you know how the devil be on you know you know how the devil be waiting for you to fail that's how people be and it be the people closest to you you know things happen and you can be sad about it you have a right to be you have a right to be mad about it whatever it is but at the end of the day that's just a little that's just a little something in your in your in your story like that's just a little bump in the road for real as long as you living you got a place to live and you got you healthy you don't have no health problems you're not miserable like some people be out here then look at the bright side and my friend tells me my friend told me that a lot of people aren't joyful and since she told me that like I really think about okay I don't have this but I do have this you know what I'm saying everybody should have a family everybody should have feel welcomed or whatever I don't have that anymore so okay yeah I don't have that but I do have people who love me and people who tell me they love me you know what I'm saying and it don't even have to be your family it could be a best friend like my friend tells me she loves me but um so like, like changes in your life happen but it should never change keep you away from your goals because I've been majorly set back but I still have the same goal I'm still out here trying to be the biggest fashion designer I'm still out here trying to find ways to make money regardless I'm never being set off track at all like I'm never being set off track regardless of anything like and you gotta be careful for them people because they want you to they want you to think that they're your friend or think that you need them in some type of way just so they can set you back because that's what, what they've been wanting to do this whole time you know what I'm saying cool. I'm ranting I'm really like missing the message here the message is it happens to everybody whatever you're going through happens to everybody if you really one of the people that have goals in life and you're really trying to do something with your life it's just a minor setback trust me it's a minor setback and if you really 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 if you really have like people could say it all all day yeah i want to do this and i want to do that but if you're really gonna do it you're gonna do it and nothing's gonna change that